Hey everyone, welcome back to the Golf House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny and today is just my weekly check-in. What's up? What do we have looking forward to next week? Um, video wise, well I will tell you, um, this weekend we are going to start working on a project and I am kind of refurbishing, changing, <laughs> Um, a piece that I got from my mom's house. Now, when my mom moved into her house, it was fully furnished and they left all their belongings there, all the furniture. <clears throat> I, and I vlogged that for you. And you might have seen the piece that I brought home. I'm pretty sure I showed it to you. Um, I was going to start it a while back and then I never got to start it. So I finally went to Lowe's last weekend and got most of the stuff I need for it. Um, I still do need a top for it and um, I may need some decoration, but this is for my island that we're, that we're building. I'm going to take you outside and show you what's going on with it. Okay, so this is the piece right here. Um, right now it is like a, a southwestern piece. Um, it's a little bit hideous. <laughs> and it looks like they put another top on top of it which is cool. Um, it's on wheels. I am going to take these wheels off and I'm going to put legs on it. I'm taking these doors off. I'm going to remove the hardware from in here on the bottom there. I'm going to take that out. I am going to clean this up. I'm going to paint it black. I'm going to put a butcher top on top and these fence pieces these fence boards are going to go around the whole outside. Now, I looked at beadboard and I looked at the other heavier board. Those boards were really heavy though. The beadboard isn't, but the other board is. It was heavy and it would have been um, really pricey. I'm trying to do this in the most cost effective way that I can. And the top will be the most costly because I want to get a butcher block top. Now, I did find one at Lowe's for like $119, which is in my price range. But, sorry, this is like a some kind of guard. But it wasn't quite wide enough. I want this just a smidge wider because I want it to have just a tiny bit of an overhang. Um, you know, this is going to be my main work surface area in the kitchen. So, so I'm looking for something just a smidge wider. Anyway... Um, beadboard would have been really really pricey too they come in tiny sheets and they're like $11 a sheet and I would have needed a bunch of them around this thing and it would have been easier for that but I'm gonna go ahead and use fence post because it'll give me that country look that I want and this piece is going to be black to match my cabinet so it's that I'm gonna turn it into that black farmhouse shabby chic yeah that that's going <laughs> And then here's the back side of it. It looks like it was like a um, maybe a TV console at some point. It probably didn't have wheels. They probably added wheels to it. But this fence post stuff will be um, down the back. And then I will sand it down and paint it. Okay, here are my new legs. I'm going to remove those wheels and put these on, which will give it height, which is what I want. Um, I'm tall, so my counters being 36 inches, I think they are, standard height, it, you know, bending over, rolling dough, and um, doing all the things that I do, it hurts my back. Um, so I want a taller work surface. And then this is the edge that I'm putting on. If you can see it, it's got leaves. I love this. Um, I did get this stuff at Lowe's. So this will be the edge piece. So that is my weekend project and I'm going to vlog it and bring you along. I probably won't show you every piece of process because I am not a professional restorer of furniture so I'm going to blindly make my way through it. <laughs> I did this piece but it was painting and then my dad cut out the shelves for me so there you go. <laughs> um, but I want it I want it to match this. Now I love that um, the black farmhousey shabby chic. What do they call it? American heritage style. I love it. Um, so it will match this. And hopefully later on, I'll be adding a few more pieces to this collection. Um, so that I'm gonna start on that. 
Um, also next week I have two canning videos for you. I didn't do any canning videos this week. Um, I kind of took a little canning break this week. <laughs> but next week I have two. One of them is a soup and the other is a meat. And also this weekend, it is getting toward Halloween time. Yes, I like two months of Halloween. So um, we are gonna be bringing in all of the Halloween stuff on Sunday and decorating starts. I actually kind of started. Uh, I've already put my spider up on that chandelier. <laughs> and I brought out my big um, lantern. I can't help it, I'm ready already. Okay, so on September 22nd, I am going to be doing a drawing for the fall apron. Um, I am going to be getting that made soon, and I'll probably maybe show it to you before the drawing this time. Um, we'll see. How many Fridays do I have <laughs> next Friday? Um, I will try to do it this week and have it done by next Friday if I can, because I'm kind of sewing between um, videos and all the other stuff that I'm doing. Um, so just now... For the apron giveaway, just make a comment in this, on this video, in the comments below. Make a comment that you want to be entered into the apron drawing. Um, keep in mind, I will only ship within the United States this time. It gets really pricey when you're outside the United States for shipping. And for me to ship a free item, it's, it's pricey. So unfortunately, I'm not going to ship to other countries. I'm so sorry about that. Um, if you know somebody in the United States and you want me to ship it to them and they want to get it to you, um, feel free. <laughs> but it has to be uh, an address within the United States. I'm, I'm so sorry. I feel really bad about it, but it's just, it's expensive. I don't make enough money yet to be shipping, for shipping costs like that. <laughs> but this video, comment if you are interested in winning the fall apron drawing on September 22nd. I'm giving you a couple weeks notice here so that we can get a lot of people commenting and um, interested. So next on my list, on Sunday I am going to be uploading a sew with me video. A lot of people have been asking about sewing in the aprons. Um, we're going to sew a basic apron so I am going to upload that video for you. I'm going to pre-record it but I'm going to upload it for you on Sunday. Um, so it'll be a basic apron and showing you how to switch it up, measure, that kind of thing. So kind of a sew with me, sew along, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but if you're interested, make sure you come back on Sunday. And as usual, if you're interested in the paranormal, make sure you go over to my Gigi's Ghastly Ghost channels. I upload a new ghost story every Saturday night there. If you have a paranormal story of your own that you would like me to share, email me at jennyjgoff at gmail.com and I would love to share your story on that channel. And the last thing I want to mention is we've had a cool down this week. Finally, it's only been in the 90s all week long. Tomorrow might be a different story. It's supposed to be back up to like 102, 105, something like that for Saturday and Sunday. We'll see. But it's kind of overcast today and it's only been in the 90s. I have literally had all of my windows open in my house all week long. Um, all night up until about 12, 1 o'clock, then I shut my windows and turn the air on um, until about 7, 8 o'clock at night and then I'm shutting the air off and opening the windows back up. I'm so excited about it. I love to air out my house. The worst thing about summer is keeping your house closed up with the air conditioner on all summer long. Anyway. I was super excited. I thought I'd share the news that Phoenix is finally in a cool down. <laughs> well, folks, that's my quick update I have for you for this week. So make sure you tune in on Sunday if you're interested in the sewing video. Make sure you comment if you're interested in winning the apron and have a U.S. address to ship to. And then I've got the two canning videos for you next week and probably some dinner videos and probably a fall baking video since it is season. I'm going to make sure that at least once a week I bring you a fall baking video and next week I have something really cool for you. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot, and I sure do appreciate your support. If you haven't started following me on Instagram yet, you should, at JennyGoff18. I pretty much post daily what I'm up to around here. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog for all of my recipes at JennyGoff.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.